I decided to do a little to legato exercise lick that I'm gonna put up. I had another person ask me about some legato licks, and it's a lick you can use in your playing, but it's also a really good exercise. Like I can't remember where I learned it from. I think it's an old Joe Satriani video, but I'm not 100% for sure. But it's gonna be out of C major. Or I'm sorry, G major. And it's really helpful, so I hope that if you do take the time to learn it, that it really does help you out, because I learned it years ago, <clears throat> and I still use it today. It's just one of those licks that always comes in handy, and it's always good to try to strengthen your hand with this one. So, I hope you guys enjoy this legato lick. Alrighty, here's how you play that lick. Um, you're going to start off on the 10th fret. B string. Okay, and you're gonna hammer on to the tenth fret. Then hammer on to the twelfth fret. And then jump up to the high E string and do the same thing. You start on the eighth, hammer on to the tenth, and then hammer on to the twelfth. And then you're gonna pull off from the twelfth to the tenth, to the tenth, to the eighth and then slide the 8th fret down to the 7. Okay, so what we have so far is you go... Okay, so then after you get to the 7th fret, you go... and you hammer to the 8th, hammer on to the 10th, then you pull off back to the 8th, pull off back to the 7th. Okay, so so far we have... Okay, and then you're going to go back to the B string, and on the 10th fret, you're going to pick and pull off to the 8th fret, then pull off to the 7th fret, and then you're going to slide back up to the 8th fret, and you're right back where you started. So slow the lick sounds like this. Here it is sped up. Okay, one really important thing about this lick is once you get the basic lick down to where you're comfortable playing it, move it all over the fretboard. I mean, use as many scales as you can think of, come up with your own crazy patterns of doing stuff. I mean, try to figure out a way to use it in a pentatonic aspect. I mean, there's like just there's no limit to how you can use it. You could do chromatic stuff. It doesn't matter if it sounds pretty, just as long as you're getting the exercise and just play it as clean as you can. And you know, it doesn't matter what fingers you're using, play it however you want to play it. And it's just it's definitely a metronome worthy lick. And by that I mean like you'll definitely see a lot of improvement by just taking the time to learn the lick and then starting off slow and then just working your your way up on it so you know I took the time to learn it a long time ago like I said I think it was a Joe Satriani thing and I took the time and it just it really helped me so it's not like I'm trying to shove a legato lick that I created down your guys throat or anything like learn my lick it's this is a lick that I learned from one of the best guitar players who has ever lived and if it's good enough for him, it's more than good enough for me. So hopefully you guys will take the time to learn the lick and everything. And I really hope that it helps somebody out. So peace out, guys. And I'll see you next time.